right, I want to give you some facts about the weapon involved. But first, Florida Senator Marco Rubio, Florida Governor Scott, uh, they are fundamental to the conversation uh, that we need to have that we're not having, which starts with a basic question. What are we going to do to stop the shootings? They don't even want to ask the question. Senator Rubio says this is an inexplicable tragedy. That couldn't be more wrong. It's easy to explain. They won't come on this morning. It's a mistake. It's not about just condemning or having a fight. They need to be out there and answering the questions that matter right now. Governor Scott is fighting to penalize doctors to even ask questions if their patients have firearms. They need to come on. They can't just be on Fox. You can't hide in a situation like this. Please come on and make the case to the American people. Now, facts first about the weapon. Law enforcement say that we once again have seen the 223 caliber AR-15 style firearm being used. Uh, AR is an Armalite rifle, okay? It's a semi-automatic weapon. Many people think AR stands for automatic rifle. Uh, it doesn't, and it also doesn't really matter. For gun enthusiasts to get more upset about how people pronounce the name of the weapon than how easy it is to get is shameful. The gun, uh, fires a bullet each time the trigger is pulled. That's what semi-automatic means, and then it automatically reloads. In 2016, AR-15 style guns made up an estimated 61% of all U.S. civilian rifle sales, okay? It's a style, right? It's not just one maker, and there are reasons for that. It's modular, meaning you can add features to personalize it, including, you know, you can play with different parts of it with kits, and you can make it repeat in three-shot bursts or even more. It's considered lightweight. It's easy to maintain. Now, one of the reasons it's so popular, the patent expired, so any company can manufacture a gun like it. All right, so um, that's the AR-15. Now, the shootings uh, that we've seen with this. It just keeps being used for these massacres because of all of these features I just told you about it being easy to use and all this fire and the caliber bullet and all the damage it can do. Last October's Las Vegas shooting, the June 2016 Orlando nightclub shooting, a uh, death toll of 107 there. Mass school shootings, uh, 2012, the shooter at Sandy Hook Elementary was armed with two handguns. He had an AR-15 style weapon. He killed 26. Uh, of course, yesterday, the shooter used one, killed 17 more people. Now, um, this type of weapon first rose to national attention in 1989. A 24-year-old used an AK-47. You've probably heard that term as well. It's an imported competitor to the AR-15, and he shot up a grade school playground. He killed five kids and then himself. Now, at the time, Colt Industries manufactured the AR-15. They voluntarily suspended civilian sales for a year, while the first Bush administration decided whether or not to ban the weapon. In the end, the administration banned most imports, but they allowed continued production and sales of AR-type guns in the U.S. Now, that takes us to 1994. This is an important part of the history. President Bill Clinton shepherded the federal assault weapons ban through Congress. The 10-year ban did not do much to deter the production of the AR-15, however. Why? Because there was a loophole. The guns were banned, but only by name or if they had certain features. How was that a loophole? Because it allowed manufacturers to strip down the features mentioned in the law, change the names, and keep selling the same damn thing. That ban expired in 2004 and obviously has not been renewed. All right, so those are the facts about the weapon, why it's so popular, and frankly, one of the reasons that it's so easy to get before you even get to gun laws. Now, certain states and localities do have bans on some of these types of guns. Most do not. Two states put extra regulations on AR-15 style gun ownership, but most places, except D.C., allow grandfathered weapons to be registered. It's complicated, but you have to understand the complexity of it because it explains the frustrating situation that we're in.